Hello everyone, and welcome to Confused Matthew and Stand and Stan's review of Star Trek. I'm Confused Matthew. And I'm Stand and Stan. And he's a little far away from the mic, so I'm just going to move it all over here. Sorry, I'm little. Stand and Stan. Hi. <laughs> Alright, well, we literally uh, just got back from seeing the movie, uh, so we've only had about maybe three minutes on the ride home to really think about it. I'm all over the experience. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to talk about the movie first, then he's going to review it, and then we're both going to talk about it together. So, um, unless you have any objections with no, me starting. No, absolutely not. Go right ahead. Okay. To basically condense down the way that I felt about this film overall, I'd say... Uh, 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 okay, I should probably actually talk about the movie. Let me start off with just uh, something positive for anyone who hasn't seen the movie but might want to. You will probably like this movie if you like any of the following things. Color, movement, noise. Oh god, the noise. Lots of people shooting at other people, a lot of people falling off of things all the time, a lot of fights going on, and there really isn't a whole lot to say about the plot of this film, which is disappointing because I've heard the reviews have been really, really good. What, let me just uh, break the rules here and bring in Stan and Stan. What, what have, what have the people in the reviews been saying? I haven't read any of them. Okay, from, okay, I read a lot of the reviews before this came out. Everyone talked about the action, which I'll talk about when I talk about this film. Nobody said much about the plot. Okay, uh, yeah, there's there's no plot here. I mean, they get all the characters on screen. And, you know, the big disappointment is, I know this is, this is a little jumbled. Like I said, we just got out of here, so uh, there's really no beginning, middle, and end to this discussion. Uh, nevertheless, um, they introduce all the characters, but they do it in a way that is so rushed. I mean, these people come on, we learn their names, and then we don't learn anything about them. The thing that surprises me the most about this is, I didn't know if I was going to love this film, I didn't know if I was going to hate this film, I confess that a part of me thought maybe I was going to hate it. Through most of this film, I actually ended up wishing that I hated it. At least I would have felt something about this thing. That was the most bland experience watching a Star Trek movie or even just any science fiction movie this could be any science fiction movie the characters the special effects the sets everything is absolutely generic I felt nothing for any of this and it goes on and on and on we don't really meet anyone like I said they give them names and then the movie goes on and it's like it's like if somebody were to put a bunch of characters in costume in a room and have this be the movie just to tell them okay now everybody run around and go ah for 2 hours that's that that's the experience that i got out of this and i just want to say the villain in this film has the worst motivation for doing what he's doing that I've seen in any film. It makes the great barrier in Star Trek 5 look like it makes sense. There is no reason for this guy doing what he's doing or wanting to do what he's doing. I cheated a little bit. Stan and I weren't supposed to to say anything to each other, and we didn't. But I, I when, it, when they were explaining his motivations, I kind of gave him a, a what-the-fuck kind of look, which uh, uh, the, we weren't supposed to do that. But I just couldn't help myself. There it is everything he says and everything he does is stupid there's no reason for any of it it's the most retarded thing i've ever seen in my life and what he's doing is 90 percent of the movie it's kind of a, a time travel story but not really this this romulan guy goes back in time and uh the reason he goes back in time is because they've got this stuff called red matter that does one of two things, not depending on any way you use it, no matter what you do, you use it exactly the same way, it's going to do one of two things. It'll either blow up a planet, or it will send you back in time. No explanation as to how you can go back in time if this thing is going to kill planets, it, it, why it's not going to suck you up and kill you. Sometimes you go back in time, sometimes your planet gets obliterated. So anyway, um, yeah, so he goes back in time. Basically what happened was this guy saw Romulus destroyed in the future, and Spock, 
who was trying to help them, and he knew he was trying to help them, didn't end up helping them. Sorry, did the best I could. So this guy says, oh, okay, well, since you didn't help me, I'm gonna go back in time and destroy every single planet in the Federation because... I don't know. I'm mad. I, I mean, it's it's the most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life. As this is going on, the crew of the Enterprise is running around and getting into fights and falling off of things and beaming things up and beaming things down and fighting off monsters. And then the movie ends and... It was just the most exhausting experience I've ever seen in my life. For a film that has this little going on in the way of story, I was completely just exhausted after I saw I felt like I was running a marathon and for God's sake the noise level in that theater I want I've never had this happen before but I wanted somebody to turn this down it doesn't need to be every single sound effect doesn't need to be a gigantic explosion in my ears that goes for the special effects and most of the dialogue too I don't really know what else to say about the movie uh, other than that it's not good I didn't like it about the best I can say about it is, if you go and see this thing, you probably won't be bored. So, there's my review. And here is Stan to tell you what he thought. Well, I was bored. I was extremely bored. I, I had, there, there is nothing in this film for people to get involved in. There are no people in this film. There's nothing going on in this film. It's just a bunch of stuff happening. It, it's just a bunch of absurd looking, and also, for God's sake, I, I came into this thing saying, okay, they have a clean slate to do whatever they want with these characters because they're young, but Chris Pine as Kirk is so obnoxious in this movie. He is so irritating that none of these characters have any warmth or charm or depth it's just a bunch of stick people barking lines at each other there's just nothing in this movie for anybody to be engaged in it, it was it was exactly what you said it's the most bland generic terrible thing i've ever seen in my life or one of i hated this movie i did have strong feelings about it and, you know, they tried to market this thing as, okay, don't worry, there's stuff in here for Star Trek fans, too. Sorry, guys, putting a green woman in this and recycling old lines from other movies isn't giving Star Trek fans what they've come to expect. You need to write a story. You have to have characters. You have to have emotional uh, uh, conflicts and situations. There's nothing in this movie. This movie is is just an empty soda can. It's It's just trash and i couldn't believe okay um there's product placements in this movie which i just no don't laugh i was really offended by that the, you got a little computer phone and it says nokia on it uh, uh uhura orders a budweiser in the bar i was really deeply offended by that there's a beastie boys song in the movie it this there's a there's a there's a couple other modern rock songs in this movie it was just uh, it was just an absolute disaster, and the 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 writing, the dialogue in this movie is the worst I've seen. I am not joking or exaggerating about this. It's the worst writing that I've heard, the worst dialogue since Plan 9 from Outer Space. This is right out of an Ed Wood film. And the look at the film, let me just say one more thing about this, the look at the film is terrible. It's a terrible looking film. There's there's some, there's colors, but the it really looks like a Power Rangers movie or something. The, and every single, every single part of these spaceships whether it's the bridge or the engineering room, they, they don't look like, they don't look interesting, they just look like a big warehouse. Everything in this movie just looks like a big colorful warehouse. There is nothing, uh, there, there's absolutely nothing uh, engaging about this film. I liked three things in it. I like, it's funny oh, wait, because... Wait until our conversation oh, okay. because uh, All right. I, 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 we'll both talk about what we did like about it because there were a couple of things that I liked too. Okay, well let's get to the conversation. Okay. Okay, so now let's talk about a more balanced, because we both didn't like it, but 
I guess uh, if our conversation is any indication, I suppose I liked it a little more than you did. Maybe. I didn't. I didn't just hate it. I hated it. I I, I just felt so empty when it was over. I just had a void that I wanted you to know, fill. I was thinking in uh, my mind in this movie, there is an empty hole in this movie yeah. that something needs to fill. Yeah. Yeah. And but let's let's talk about the villain problem. Actually, for a before before we do that, I do want to I do want to say at least a couple of positive. Okay. Things. Well, let me tell you the three things I liked. Okay. I liked the first two minutes of the film. So did I. In the beginning, when when Kirk's father takes command. Yeah, that was a good scene. Ship, I really, I really when, thought when they, was, they might have had something. Me too. In fact, I thought, oh boy, if they keep this up, this is really going to be good. Yep. Of course they didn't. But uh, that scene where he was talking to his wife uh, right before he right before he crashed into the ship. And, and gets killed, that needed to be done in Star Trek Nemesis with Data. They, they yes. sort of used that idea. I had I exactly really, the same reaction. I really liked that. Mm -hmm. That was a really strong opening. Uh, contrary to what you thought, I liked the sound effects. I liked the way the phasers look. I liked the way the... Ph I'm just saying... I don't mean to interrupt. I got... No. I, I, I want to say real quick, I got accused of interrupting you the last time we were oh, talking. Oh, really? Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. The last time we were talking, you guys caught me on a high energy day and you caught Stan on a low energy yeah. day. That's, that's just how we talk. We both do it and, and I apologize. Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt you. It's but right. um, I'm not saying that I didn't like the sound effects. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is... Turn it down. No, they all they don't all have to be no, I, that. You're right about loud. that. But I but I liked okay, then I I liked the sounds, I'll say that. Okay. I like the sounds. I like the way the phasers looked and sounded. I like the way the enterprise, the exterior of the enterprise, I like the way it looked. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked the beaming effect. I like how retro it looked. Um wow. no, I did. I, I and I liked I liked the sound effects that it made. Uh, what was the other thing I liked? I liked how the phasers were blue or red depending on what setting they were on. I, you know what? Huh. I didn't even notice. I liked that. that. I, I didn't notice. That, and I, th I thought, you know, wow, I wish this were a better film because I kind of like these little elements that, that of, of that. Yeah. Um, I, I have to, to say uh, something else about what, what you said. Um, I, I don't think this was a bad looking film. I, I, I said it looked generic and it does, but I think it doesn't, no, no, it no, doesn't no. look bad. I think it looks bad. I think it's, it, it's, it's colorful. It's vibrant. It's a little too it's colorful just a, and a little it's too, just a yeah, jumble. it's, it's, it's <laughs> like chugging a huge Mountain Dew that, which it, it, it got on, it kind of got on my nerves and it got on the nerves of my retinas, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't think it looked I, bad. I think there's, there is nothing even about the set design for people to get to to pull people in there's no it's just generic there's nothing interesting about it but also it also looked cheap it looked like this movie looked like it had a, a lower budget than it actually did i, I have to really disagree with that well, i that's, didn't that's this, the this way looked, i saw it no th this had a high production value a higher higher than star trek nemesis which i think uh it might have had a higher budget than this i don't know but I, I actually thought that it was it was a good looking something film. about it to me, and I, I could be you know I might, I may be the only person who ever says this. It, I kept on thinking Power Rangers movie. It just <laughs> looked I did it, it I just, didn't think it was that bad. Oh, I did. I it ju it looked terrible to me. Okay, well, aside from the the sound effects, you said th there were two other things that you liked about this. I liked the sound effects. I liked the first uh, two minutes. Uh -huh. I can't remember what the other thing was off the top of my head, honestly. <laughs> the the it really was that unimpressive of an experience. Um, I guess. I'll tell you what I liked about it. Hmm. I kind of liked a few of the characters. I liked Scotty and I liked Chegov. I, I thought Chegov was very very plucky in this. I got sick and tired of them pointing out the fact that he can't say V. He says W instead of V. They did that once in Star Trek Four, and it was funny. You, you, know you don't have to do it I, over and over and over I again. Did, I didn't get it. Let me tell you something. Scotty in that movie was one of the most obnoxious, oh, I thought irritating he was kind people. Of, I thought by that point they, they, they could have used a little personality and I kind but of liked But there was his... no personality. He was just a walking one-liner. Yes, he, he that just... would be better than, than nothing. Oh, I don't think... Film. No, no, no. I would have rather fallen asleep. I, I couldn't stand... I, 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 I tell you what, I, I, oh, hang on, uh -huh. just one second. I, I liked him, and, and I like Chekhov. These people, the, the people that I actually liked, are introduced too late. We don't see enough don't, of them. I don't know they, what you liked about them other than I liked sort Scotty's of, personality. I thought the person who played him did a very I, good job. I didn't job. think he had one. I thought he I thought he was I thought he was the comic relief and I think that's stupid. I thought he stole the show. As I, a matter I, I of didn't fact. think he did anything with the show. I didn't think he added to anything. Well and that's that's say, one uh -huh. let me say something about Chekhov. Wasn't that a terrible accent? 
No. Oh, I thought it was. No. It was awful. That was. The, the, I. I. We're, we'll have to look this up. But that. That was. No, no, it sounded no. like a genuine Russian the, accent. The kid who plays him, and I, I did look this up. He's. He was born in Leningrad in Russia, okay. but he was not raised there. He doesn't have a Russian accent, okay. and I didn't think he did, did it very well. I, I, I thought look, he look, did. Fine. Eric Bana, who plays the main villain, is oh. an Australian, and I didn't think he did an American accent very well. So who cares <laughs> about that? Yeah. But, I thought the accent was fine. I don't really care about the accent either. I, I liked him. I kind of liked the fact where what he's... What did you like about I him? I liked the fact that he was kind of like, oh, wait a minute, I know I know how to do this. Like, he he, he had pluck. I thought, I, I thought that was obnoxious. And, I know, that wasn't obnoxious. See, no, I thought it was. I can I, sort of see why also, you would think that Scotty was obnoxious, but not Chekhov. That, that, when, it, he, when he... What little there was of Chekhov uh, on the film, when he was running down the court, I guess it wasn't that bad. Yeah. I, I would have preferred many more minutes of Chekhov to Scotty. I would have preferred minutes with Chekhov and Scotty than Kirk. For God's sake. He was the, that was, he was so nails on a chalkboard. He was you just... Could pick, you could pick any character from any other uh, science fiction series and stick them in that role, and it would be exactly... I don't know that he got on my nerves. I, he, he sounds like he got on your he nerves. He got on my nerves. He, I nothinged that character. I kept on having... Uh, hey, you know what? I, I, I kept on having... Um, Starship Troopers flashbacks, where every single character is pretty much exactly the same, except mm -hmm. they were supposed to be in that film, and that actually worked. I was worked. thinking about that. He could have come right out of that film, but Kirk isn't supposed to be that way. Half the time he's a frat boy, and the other time he's got a stick up his ass, and yeah. neither he's not very good at playing either I one of those. He's not convincing in either no. of those things. No, um, I did like Spock, and I liked the Vulcan scenes in oh, this. Boy, I, I was going to tell you. I nothinged Spock, and I didn't like the Vulcan scenes. I thought that, the, especially when they're children, that was that's one that of the was most horrible. terrible sequences that's, I've okay, ever seen. Okay, let film. me just say you're you're either an intellectual or you're a bully. Look, look, yeah, that, look, you we're, can't we're, be both. And also, and also, we're we're this we're we're an intellectually enlightened uh, spiritual people, but we have this prejudice somehow yeah I, no about... i'm talking about the three bully kids where i i i i assume that you've brought more insults right. and they say affirmative that's the most incompatible th oh, two by the series way, by of the events way, this is the future so we no longer say hello we say affirmative, affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah uh okay um so we've got the characters out of the way. You know, the, I didn't like a single one of them. And uh, I liked a few. Uh, the aliens in this film are the most generic group. I know I keep on using that word, but it's yeah. like, let's just accentuate you know, you some facial features yeah, and yeah, that'll right. pass you as an what, alien. Though, now, boy, we're, we're having just completely opposite reactions on some of this stuff. Oh, wow. I appreciated seeing those sort of generic looking aliens because those were kind of the same kind of aliens you saw in the bar in Star Trek Three. The, the in, no, the, no, in, no. In, in the series, in the series, you'd see sort of generic looking masky type uh, aliens. I actually kind of liked seeing that. It was something I hadn't seen in a Star Trek movie These, in a while. These didn't look masky type. These looked like the, someone went into a computer and just made a nose a little bigger, the eyes a little bigger. Yeah. I, 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 you know what? Out of all the characters in this film, I think the one that I liked the most was the tiny little green alien that was saying, stand oh, that really? Guy. I couldn't stand that. You're going to put a little, a stupid little sidekick in <laughs> Look, You know what? Let me just, let me just tell you something. And this kept going around in my head. And this is my biggest problem with the movie. This movie has no respect for itself. The, 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 that movie... It has no respect for itself. It it doesn't care if the hu the humor doesn't work. The humor is slipshot. The the characters are slipshot. The uh, it's it's juvenile. The, the, it just has no. Uh, it, it just has no regard for what it's doing. We are kind of having a, a difference of opinion, which is weird because we both didn't like it. Yeah. But I didn't think the characters were slipshot, and I didn't think the humor was slipshot. I thought it was half done is the problem. They were. I, I, I really want to go and read the reviews now that I've seen this because mm -hmm. I want to know what everyone was raving about. This yeah. There is not a whole lot of substance in this movie. Nothing going on It's in it. just a lot of color and light and noise. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, no... But, there, but, there, but look, no, let me say one more thing. Star Trek is about people. Mm -hmm. There are no people in this movie. No. There are no people. There's no dilemma. There are no conflicts. There, there, except in a, some basic sense, there's a conflict. There's, a, there's an ex... There's the ex... Okay, the internal conflicts are generic. Spock feeling bad about, you know... And, Empty. There's and, nothing and absolutely there. empty. The external conflict is the stupidest thing I've ever dumb. seen in in any film. So, 
So, okay, okay so wait, wait, wait. Let me let me ask you a question. Huh? Okay, Eric Bana, the Nero, the uh-huh. villain in this movie. Oh. He has this he has this red matter. Uh-huh. For whatever reason, somehow it can send you back in time. Or, or destroy a planet. Or destroy a planet. But, it, it's it, but, but it's, you don't have to do anything different right. to it to, to produce either right. result. I, I don't know I don't know what was supposed to make one happen and what was right. supposed no, to make I don't the know other. Either. Happen. But it, but in regardless, he's got this thing and uh-huh. it does one of those two things. Hopefully in his case it might send him back in time. Yeah. So he's in the past, his Romulus has been destroyed. He this is before that happened. So rather than telling someone mm. and trying to make things happen differently that way, mm. or using this thing to go back before it happened and try to stop it, he's going to go and destroy everyone who tried to help this. Yeah, I know. Who tried to prevent I, this I just, from happening. Okay. Okay. So Spock was trying to help you. He was trying to help, and you know that. You know what? You know what? Actually, I'm sorry. You know what it reminded me of? Huh. It reminded me of. Okay. We found Voyager's hull in the debris, <laughs> and that's about all we know. So now we're going to go back and destroy the whole ship. Mm-hmm. I mean, he saw, he's, he oh, saw the planet gonna, get yeah. destroyed, and that's all he knows. So, so, here's so thing. he's going to uh-huh. go back and destroy every single right. planet. In, what? L- l- let me ask you. L- l- listen to this. Listen to this. So, okay. My planet was destroyed. I saw this happen. And you guys sat back and did. They didn't do nothing, but he said they did. Uh-huh. You guys sat back and do nothing. So I'm going to wipe out all the Federation so they can't just sit back and do nothing while this... What's, yeah. What was the point? Yeah. No one did this. To, it was an accident. And, and okay, uh, so, okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to destroy all the planets. Well, I, I say again, and this is the biggest problem I have with a lot of time travel stories... You have a time machine! <laughs> Go back, tell someone this is going to happen, maybe gr- pick Spock up and bring him back tell about Sp- ten minutes tell, earlier. Tell Spock in the book. Bu- uh, Sp- Sp- Spock tell- didn't do anything to him. The Federation no. didn't do anything to him. No one was responsible for this. It was a freak and look, accident. You have, the, you, you have access. This er, the Nero has oh. access to the young Spock. Rather than trying to sword fight him, why don't you just say, look, in the future, X is going to happen. Do this a little bit before it was just such a an absolute uh, that's the catastrophe most that of is dilemma. the most brain dead story i've ever seen i'm, I'm really and, and trying know, to compare no, it to, I, to something bad yeah star trek 5 made more sense it did star trek the motion picture made more sense mm-hmm. uh nothing happened in generation so well, i don't well, really speaking of really... nothing happening other than okay so we have to go regardless of how brain dead the dilemma was we have to go stop this thing what else was going on besides this? Nothing. It was just them this is the getting whole, to this yeah, thing. Yeah, this is the whole the whole film. This guy is blowing up planets, and these people have to stop him. And and nothing. And else. that's it. And nothing else. Oh, I'm 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 shocked. I and I. It's funny because now, on on the other hand, I, I think I wouldn't. Go if that you just far. if you just I, if you just want to sit back and be entertained, I don't think a, I don't think a person off the street or a Star Trek fan would enjoy this movie. I really a don't. person off the street. No, would. I don't. I, think, I, I think would. The, the Star Trek purists, I, and I mean even people who are bigger purists than I am, are going to yeah. have a, a million different problems. With of this course, thing. they were. Uh, you can you can you can complain every which way about the details they by, got wrong. By the way, uh, but that's yeah. not what I'm concerned. No, with. me neither. This I, uh, did yeah. not have to be. A bad story, and mm-hmm. it, and it was a bad. Well, story. Well, it, it wasn't just a bad story. Even the bad story there was was thin. Yeah, it, it, it's it's worse than that. Uh, is Vulcan still gone? Yes. S- I well, guess they're, they're I guess starting they're over. Yeah, yeah, they're know. starting and over. They also, they also but start... the, the, th- the thing I mean, that no, happens... No, I want to I I I make clear to listeners, I asked you... That was a serious question. I, I honestly yes, didn't know whether still it was gone. still gone or not. Okay. Um, but what I don't understand is... Uh, I guess they don't have red matter anymore, but uh, no, I'm I'm sorry. We you you we can't just leave it there. How does it make sense that this thing is blowing up planets one minute and sending people back in time the next? How does this thing work? Yeah, God knows, and the God knows. Uh, who, oh, well, I guess it me, doesn't let, really matter. Let me say, <clears throat> let me say one thing that was a throwback to the original Trek movies, and I don't care either. They could have done anything they wanted with sure. this. It's their project. Uh-huh. It was fine. I'm actually a little surprised. Uh, this movie, it was not, uh, the, the dialogue, the dialogue wasn't that as juvenile as I thought no, it was No, I was I actually was really kind of surprised, surprised too, that. yeah. It, I, I, I thought this was going to be wall-to-wall teenagers going, 
Oh no, you Dude, didn't. Dude, we're going to war, yeah. man. Yeah, and it wasn't like <laughs> no. that at all. I th- I th- okay, maybe that was handled well, at uh, least. Better than uh, I expected. Better than I expected. To, yeah, I guess well, you can't say well about anything in this movie, but okay. The uh, uh, I don't care about the throwback, but we talked at length about how dull it would be to go and see Kirk. Hang on. Rigging. No, 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 no. I, I said right from when I when I heard this was going to be a prequel and we were going to see Kirk and Spock yeah. in the old days, I said, if they show us the Kobayashi uh-huh. Maru scene, that's going to get on my nerves. Uh-huh. And they show it in this movie, and it got on my you nerves. You know why it got on my nerves? Because it's it's pointless. No, not even that. Not even that. <clears throat> so when he when Kirk in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, <clears throat> when he talks about cheating and changing the conditions of the test, I thought... I got the sense that he was doing that as a matter of pride, that he didn't want to lose. And then when he's doing it, he's sitting there eating an apple. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah, I, he did, I hate He's it got that way. no. There, there's this. This doesn't mean anything to him. It's just yeah. sort of a. Oh, hey, wasn't hey, that funny? Hey, I'm cheating. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, although I do have to say, I I kind of thought they rebounded nicely on that in the next scene where Spock was explaining. I hated that him. scene. I liked I, that no, I, scene. I thought that I thought that was I thought it was contrived. I thought it was I thought it was meaningless. I thought it was just an excuse to get these two to bicker with one another. The, but they weren't bickering. He was bickering with Spock. Spock was actually trying to teach him something. I kind of I kind of thought that but that's. What, but even what needed... he was trying to teach him was done in such a shallow and and uh, meaningless that way. That I actually didn't. Think was shallow. I actually thought that was kind of a good scene. And then they they sidetrack into something is going on, and we got to rush and save the day. And there's mm-hmm. they don't they didn't. What I'm saying is they didn't really take a whole lot of time out to do things like that. And that was one of the only times in the film where they did. And mm-hmm. I appreciated it. I would have appreciated it if there had been characters involved in that. Yeah. Well, um, I guess we've ranted long enough. Well, I just and... want to say one more thing. In fairness to the film, I was so terrified that they were going to try to make this have mass appeal by making it really shallow. Uh-huh. Uh, they didn't. I think it was shallow It was shallow for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, exactly. it, it, yeah, it was yeah. shallow in a different way. Uh, I will say this. If they put these characters in another film, which did you know Paramount already greenlit a yes. sequel? If they put these characters in another film, get some different writers. I don't like their writing style. No, I don't, I like. get, get some people who... They, they could... These characters if they develop them correctly there's there are outlines here that i think could work in another film yeah it kind of the film kind of reminds me of if they just made a movie about sam and frodo about to go into mordor like if it was just that right. last scene right like this is just opening the door for making better movies and maybe this one wasn't good but maybe they'll do better the next time maybe Okay, uh, that's about it. That's how we felt. We didn't like it. I guess I liked it a little more than Stan, but not much. I'm, which I'm surprised um, about. Mm-hmm. So that's it. And until next time, keep on trekking. Keep on trekking.